guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go dress shopping for my wedding. I am hoping to find a dress today. It's kind of like late. I have six months till the wedding, so I kind of need to find it today, hopefully. I'm going to two places. My sister's gonna meet us at the second one, but my friend Crystal and my mom are coming with me to both. I am going to the white dress in San Clemente and then style by TC, I think it's called, in Brea. So, hoping I find my dress today. I want a mermaid. All right, we're on our way, but we're late. Crystal copied my outfit. I'm just kidding, no. I copied her. <laughs> Say hi, mom. Hi. Wedding dress shopping. Oh, oh Nicole. This fits her perfectly. Yes, you do. Yeah, stand up stand there, up Nicole. Up. Oh my God, that's so pretty, Nicole. You have anything? All right, so I'm going to do a voiceover because I don't want to get copyrighted for music and you guys don't need to hear our gibberish. Anyways, I asked her right here if they had a dress with no beads. I never realized that I don't like beading at all, like those little beads. I don't know what it's called, but I would rather much do lace. Um, also, this isn't my size, so it's kind of squishing me. And I just didn't like how it looked on my body as much as all the other dresses that I tried on. Although this was my first dress. I also didn't want to do strapless because I feel like I would be pulling it up all night. But this was a really pretty dress. Alright, so this was the second dress I tried on. And it had more lace. I really, really loved the top on this dress. But didn't love everything else on it. The back was really pretty, but it just wasn't it. Alright, so dress number three. This was actually off the rack so they were selling this sample which was great because the price was great this place was a lot pricier than the second place I went to um, I love the back of this dress I love how the fabric on it was making me look but the front just wasn't doing it for me also I want more lace all over the train and stuff the fabric on this dress though really cinches your waist but it's also just because it was a smaller size than the other dresses but I really 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 like this dress it just still wasn't the one for me um I didn't love everything everything on it I just love like certain aspects of it right here she's showing me that I could have added a strap but I still like just wasn't convinced that this would be the dress so it was a no she brought out this dress this dress was about six thousand dollars it's another couture designer um it was really pretty, but it just didn't seem like, oh, it's my wedding dress. It was very simple. So if you're looking for like a simple wedding dress, not too much like going on at the bottom, this would be it. Although the back was really pretty, everything was really pretty, like the lace design. It's just not a wedding dress that I would be like obsessed with. It's just very simple and I wanted something with more of a train on it. So this was a no as well. All right, so this dress was amazing. I left the store thinking that I was going to call them back and give them my credit card information because I thought this was the dress. The train on this dress was so beautiful. Um, I should have known, though, because I wasn't like, this is the one. Like, I didn't want to pay right away. I should have known that it wasn't the one for me, but it was a really pretty dress. This was my runner-up from the dress I chose at the end of the day, so... If you take a look, that train is so beautiful. It was, this dress was about like $5,000, so it was really, really pretty. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like with the long veil on. So pretty. Thank you. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oi, oi. <laughs> Turn a little bit, Nicole. The distance from your waist. So how do I All right, so in between, we went to Great Maple at Fashion Island. If you haven't tried their blood orange margarita, you need to go try it. It's amazing. So we had a couple drinks, and then we went to the second place. All right, so I actually did not end up going to style by TC and Brea. I went to the, let me look up that name for you guys, the Dresser Bridal in Fullerton. 
and I'm really glad I came here. No dress here is over $3,600. And to tell you the truth, you guys, you can't even tell the difference between a $6,000 dress and a $2,500 dress. I think sometimes, you know, places is just like where they're located and they're charging for like these couture designers. Um, honestly, I don't care who makes the dress as long as it looks good on me and I love it. And think about it, you guys, you only wear it once. So, you know. I mean, make sure you love the dress, but don't go all out and, like, clean your pockets just to have, like, a couture designer. Everything looks beautiful and everything just looks the same no matter the price. Well, that's just me. <laughs> so here I am snatching the camera for my sister. I'm yelling at her. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking, but she kept moving the camera too much, so I was like, let me do this. This is the first dress I tried on. Here she is snatching it back. I am so sorry if you're getting dizzy at this point. This dress was really pretty. I liked the back on this. Um, we were going in the right direction. I still didn't think this was a dress. Obviously, it's not as fitted because it's like two or three sizes too big, but beautiful train on this as well. And, you know, I was like, okay, get me something like this, but let me try more on. So the next dress is also really pretty. All right, so this is the dress I tried on before I find I found my dress. Uh, once again, we were moving in the right direction. And if you can't see by now, there's a trend here. I like an open back. I like a fitted dress. And I wanted some straps. I really like the straps on this one. And I thought that the back on it was really pretty, just like all the other ones. They were low backs. Um, trying to get it to focus for you guys here. So, yeah, this one was beautiful. The lace on the front, it just wasn't enough for me I don't think so I told her I really liked it but there was one more dress and that's the dress I chose but I can't show you guys so hopefully you guys have an idea of what I ended up walking out with but yeah this one was really really pretty so shout out to that place because they helped me find my dress for like half the price of the other place and I loved it right away all right, guys, so that's it for this vlog. Sorry, there was so many voiceovers, but I found my dress and I can't wait for you guys to see in July. Thank you for watching.